Hello everyone and thank you for watching. My name is Celeste and today I'm going to be repotting this little cactus. So cute. But then it turned into a full-on gardening day. So if you would like to see how all that happened, you can skip to 133 if you want to start the gardening. But if you want to see how it works, then please keep watching. So I'm starting off with this miracle Grow Cactus Palm and Citrus Potting Mix. It said on the little cactus thing to use cactus potting mix. So I found some at Walmart and decided to get that going and the pot the little pot that i'm using is from dollar tree most of the items that i picked up were from dollar tree and or walmart because this is just oh my gloves my gloves are also from dollar tree i wanted it to be very simple cheap easy uh yeah because i'm not much of a gardener i'm not much of a of a planter but i filled my planting pot with my planter pot with water Oh my gosh, I filled it with dirt. Then I stamped out uh, where I wanted my cactus to go into the dirt, as you can see. So then it's just an easy, easy thing to just remove it, separate the roots a little bit and put it in. Um, I'm not sure if I was supposed to like separate, separate the roots or just lightly, just kind of, you know, but that's what I did. And so far so good. So next I'm going to water it from the bottom because I like doing that and that's that. On. So for gardening, I decided to pick these seeds up from Dollar Tree. I have green beans, cabbage, lettuce, bell peppers, green onions, serrano chili, zucchini squash, and tomato. And I'm going to be planting, planting those up. So I grabbed some Ziploc bags. I'm going to be labeling them. Um, I wanted to germinate the seeds before I just planted them. I heard that's something that people do so i decided to give it a try so i'm labeling my ziploc bags with the name of the plant and then the date i started these on the 18th of may so it's been a minute it has been a minute but you know gotta get these videos up and edited and get them out into the world so that's what i'm doing is uh, labeling my ziploc bags getting them all together um if you could see on the left hand side of the screen there's like some paper towels and a little spray bottle. I'm going to be wetting the paper towels and putting them into the Ziploc bags, but there's other ways to germinate seeds. You can also use um, like half of a toilet paper roll and put your dirt and your seeds in there and make them moist and cover it with plastic wrap. You can also use a bowl and some plastic wrap, whatever you want to do. I found that this was a lot easier for me, so that's what I decided to do. I'm spraying the paper towel to make it nice and damp and then I'm just putting the seeds on no rhyme or reason really I just didn't want them I didn't want them too close together but I'm just you know putting the seeds down I used half the bag half the bag for the seeds um I didn't I didn't want to use the whole thing in case I I messed up somewhere I wanted to start over but it worked out very well so um, for this, I'm spraying them down just a little bit more. Make sure the paper towels are nice and damp. Nice and damp because we are not putting more water into our paper towels or the Ziploc bags at all. So making sure it's nice and well saturated. And then I'm going to be putting that into a Ziploc bag, the labeled bag, and get that started. Yes, indeed. So... Here I am putting the paper towel in the bag, like so. Squeeze most of the air out if I can, if you can. And there is that. To have them germinate, I put them under like a light or in my window, as you'll see. It's coming up, but these are all of the bags that I got going. And here is five to seven days later, um, I have these seeds under the light and you can't really see it in the footage, but these are done. They're ready to be planted, um, especially the green beans. You see those? You can't really, you see the little lines in the paper towels? That's, that's roots, girl. So, oh, also, and then here I put these seeds in a light window somewhere. I feel like these took a little longer than the warm glow light, grow light, whatever you want to call it, but it is what it is. And here are my green beans. It's planting day. So I'm gonna be planting these outside. Here are my green beans. You can see those roots. Yes, indeed. And then here are the green onions, I believe. And for these, the seeds, um, the roots are really small. They're just small little 
lines, but that's fine. That means they're ready to grow as well. So I'm getting my dirt together. Uh, these are, this is some dirt from some old, some old plants, I think, that I didn't grow, but have been, the dirt's been used. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's what we're doing right now. So I'm just getting some older dirt um, and putting that in, mixing it up, separating it a little bit, making sure it's not all chunky and clunky, um, getting any big debris that I see out of the pot. And then I'm mixing in a newer dirt into the mix as well, because that wasn't enough. And I got that dirt, where'd I get? I got that dirt from, Do no, from Walmart. Yes, I got that dirt from Walmart as well. And the pot, the pots were also older, had used them. I'm not a planter, but my family had used them for something. So I'ma just reuse these, you know? So here I'm just placing, I think those are the bell pepper. No, those are the green onions. And I'm just placing those on top of the soil. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to be putting on another layer of soil lightly on top. But yeah, just placing those in. No rhyme or reason really. Just making sure they're nice and, you know, spread out. And then I'm putting a layer of dirt on top. Getting that going. Then I am, these are the green beans I believe. I'm just placing those in. I'm putting the roots down into the dirt. I don't know if you're supposed to like orient them any kind of way. I'm new to this, not yet true to this, but I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm growing like my plants. You're just kidding. I'm kidding. But um, anyway, just placing those in the dirt like so. Again, not really rhyme or reason, just trying to separate them, not put them too close together. But I mean, I don't have the biggest planters and I feel like I might have to transplant these anyways, but it, eh. we live and we learn. I'm really just trying things out. So then next, I got this bag from Dollar Tree and I'm filling it with dirt. I wanted to plant some potatoes or try. I'd heard about planting potatoes. So I got my potatoes. You know how they say like the little eye of the potatoes or the little where it sprouts up? Apparently you're supposed to point that at the ground. So we'll see how that works out. But now I'm watering my babies. And um, yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick update in just a second on like where where we're at right now current day june what day is it june 20 something but here's a few days after i had um watered them and planted them outside they're looking so good those are the green beans they were sprouting up those were the i think yeah green onion so cute and small that was the lettuce and or cabbage, I'm not sure. And then this is even a few days after that. So we're making a lot of progress and I'm very excited. I'm a plant mom now, oh my gosh. Never in my life did I think that would happen. So um, yeah, I'm gonna fill y'all in on what I'm doing currently, current day at this moment. Okay, so just a quick update before I finish off my video. Um, don't mind the bonnet. That's just how I do. Um, I wanted to show you the plants that I, where they're at now, and then also some new ones that I got. So let me show you real quick. Oh, and I bought some sea moss, and so now I'm watering my plants with some sea moss water. So yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Perfect. Thank you, man. Okay, so here's what our plants are looking like. They've grown up quite a bit here. I'm noticing some pests are eating my little plants, but um, honestly, so far so good. So I bought these little things from Dollar Tree, um, and I bought that bag from Dollar Tree, and the pots were recycled from just what I already had. So we have some Serrano chilies. They look so, they're doing so well. We have lettuce and cabbage. I mixed lettuce and the cabbage together. So there's like, some is lettuce, some is cabbage. I'm not sure which, surprise, surprise. We'll figure it out when we get there. Next we have some green beans. 
green beans are getting eaten up, tore up from the flow up, but that's okay. We have some green onion that we planted. Those are doing so well. Look at them. They're so cute. We have bell pepper here. Oops, starting. It's starting to do a little something. It's a little slower than the rest, but it's okay. And what else? Oh, our potatoes, which I'm not sure how they're doing, but they're doing something. And then I picked up from the store, we have some rosemary, some, what is this, peppermint. Gotta lift these bad boys up. We have basil, little basil. We can probably harvest some of these, actually. And we have some purple sage. So our garden is growing. And it's, it's looking good. <laughs>